Good morning. I'm Ryan Dawson, the CEO of Corva. I'm so excited to share with you the amazing things we've been working on at Corva. We've been very busy and have some exciting announcements. Today, we're unleashing new apps targeting workflows across drilling and completions lifecycle. At Corva, we're on a mission to shake things up in the industry and keep everyone on their toes. Rarely do you get a chance to create game-changing technology, and this is one of those times. For me, this is something I've really looked forward to for years, and now it's here. Corva has made some big moves before. In 2014, Corva created the first of its kind drilling analytics platform that revolutionized workflows across the rig and enabled the industry to drill faster, safer, and more profitable wells. We built some killer apps like torque and drive broomsticks, driller's roadmap, parameter comparison, BH optimization, connection times, just to name a few. In 2019, we launched Corvus Completion Platform and Corvus Stream, a revolutionary hardware appliance for streaming DNC data in real time. We followed that up with the industry's first and only data science partnership with Drill to Frack and breakthrough product lines just in the last six months like Corva Competitor Analysis. And along the way, we've helped our clients crush it and set drilling records worldwide. Corva broke its own records too. We built nearly 100 apps and deployed our tech on more than 300 rigs worldwide. We've had a lot of big moments in just a short span of years. The velocity of innovation is only accelerating what I want to share today is just as big, if not bigger. Your team is overwhelmed with challenges on the rig and in the back office, flooded with data that eats up valuable time managing it. How do you leverage the data torrent, build bigger and better solutions that match your needs? You need agility, solutions that can be fast-tracked and solve today's oil and gas challenges. But there's always tomorrow and the energy industry is evolving. You need an approach that helps your team pivot and instantly tackle tough new challenges. Like renewable energy, some operators are starting to hedge their bets, use some of their acreage for solar and wind farms. Some say the energy transition is inevitable, imminent in fact, because of what 2020 has done to shift mindsets. If you think like one of the super majors, you're going all in on renewable energy and out of oil and gas. But oil and gas will always be crucial. Even if everyone starts driving electric vehicles, you can't make an EV without hydrocarbons. Either way, you need data analysis and business solutions to succeed. You need a way to evolve and compete. So what are we talking about? Well, it's going to look pretty familiar to a lot of you. We've got Corvus trademark visualizations and user interfaces, of course, and it includes real-time quality control data so you can stop data wrangling and get to work. But what is different is you, your imagination. What could this be? Corva building blocks, Corva data quality, and your imagination. It's a place to put your apps, dev and deploy with ease, share your creations, and even sell your apps. You know your business problems and well challenges better than anyone. And before now, building fit for purpose solutions yourself was a pain, took forever, and was expensive. That's why today we're introducing the Corva Dev Center. Dev Center is not just for hardcore developers. It's for engineers, geotechs, and data junkies. It's for anyone on your team with a passion to build data-driven oil and gas solutions. Freelancers are welcome too. We give you the building blocks, stunning UI, data, and platform to build and deploy sustainable solutions. And of course, with Corva's App Store, your team can leverage an expanding ecosystem of digital oil field solutions. Opening up the Corva platform to your imagination creates endless possibilities. Spend more time building and less time building infrastructure. With Corva, Dev Center accelerates this innovation. We built the best UI in the business. Our own app template and UI building blocks are yours to explore and create your own apps in a fraction of the time and a fraction of the cost. Own what you build, 
This is a big one for our industry. Your IP drives your business goals and success, not your peers. Forget about WitsML and manual data management. Corva automates data aggregation fleet wide and QCs everything with algorithms and people in the loop. Live data streams from the rig, FrackVan and WireLogger are built right into DevCenter. Corva DevCenter makes cumbersome development environments, clunky deployment and unsustainable solutions ancient history. Easily build, test and clean code to your team worldwide with the Corva Cloud, native iOS, Android and the web apps. We're also empowering third party developers to imagine and sell their app ideas. Even if it's that a simple calculator or the killer oil and gas app, it's endless possibilities. Ending on a quote by a real digital pioneer, innovation accelerates and compounds. To me, that's what Corva is doing. Every innovation builds on the last and we're just getting started. To get this started, let's take a look at the brand new app store. We've created a beautiful new way to showcase all the apps in Corva. Now the apps have rich images, videos, and content to showcase how they work. All in one place, you can find information on the way the app works, a detailed description, and actually watch YouTube-like help content recorded by Corva. We think all of these upgrades are going to help you navigate a bigger store of apps and find the right one to solve your problems. Let's take a closer look at how easy it is to deploy new apps in the Dev Center. Vitaly Simikin, our front end software engineer manager, is obsessed with the price of oil. He knows it drives the industry, and he didn't want to leave Corva to check what it is. The higher the price, the more he can expect to receive a raise in the future. So he built an oil price ticker app last week and deployed it to Corva now. We'll start by adding our app to the Dev Center app page. Since we deploy the UI of the oil price app, let's select front end. Then we'll give our app a name and a segment. The app is generic, but for the demo, we will select drilling and it's definitely an analytics tool. Here we have the information needed to create our package with our command line interface tool. With our command line interface, we give you all the tools to package your app to be ready for deployment into DevCenter. Today, we've already coded the oil price app, and here we'll just get it ready. With our app code zipped up and ready to go, we can now deploy it to Corva. It's easy as dragging and dropping the package containing your app into Corva. Now we're ready to deploy the app. Users can add this app to the dashboards alongside all the apps you've come to love. This is really powerful. You can deploy your own proprietary apps next to the other tools that the drillers, company men, and engineers are already using. Now let's see our app. Navigate to the app store and add the app. Boom. You can see the real-time price of WTI, Brent, and natural gas. You can also click to see a chart. Now you too can keep track of the price of oil without ever leaving Corva. It's so easy to take an idea and turn it into a working app in a few days. I have another app I want to show you. We wanted to see how far the platform could go. Vitaly Duma, one of our senior developers, downloaded a JavaScript package from GitHub in a matter of minutes, deployed it to, as an app to Corva. I'm going to go back into the app store and add it. Just don't tell your boss about this one. It's Tetris. We'll be releasing both of these apps in a few weeks with the release of the new app store. Now you've seen the power of the Dev Center firsthand. We think it's really going to accelerate our own development. But Dev Center isn't just for us. 
I want to pivot and take a look at how some of our partners are using DevCenter to solve their own needs. To start with, I want to invite up Kenneth Pichu of next year up to the stage and talk about how they are using it. So thank you, Ryan, and, uh, and thanks for the opportunity to be here. So look, um, just a bit of introduction of myself. I'm the Chief Financial Officer for Next Tier. Uh, in addition to my role as CFO, I also run the digital platform and strategy for, for Next Tier as well. I uh, just wanted to give you a little brief about Next Tier. We are actually today the second largest deployed hy hydraulic fracturing fleet in the US. We also have capability and presence internationally. We also have the largest pump down perforating business in US land today. So we are a big player in the completion space. And over the last three years, since 2018, we've been building out our digital capabilities. We've been able to enhance the way we look at our well site, enhance the way we look at our equipment, our logistics. And this year, it was actually on the plan to build a customer portal. You know, we believe that digital is gonna be the way that we communicate with our customers to make us more efficient at the well site and to enhance the production, either on the surface or subsurface. So we were along that path, came along with Corva, and we were able to realize that very quickly that we need to align with what our customers are doing already. Corva is already implemented on the, on the drilling side. And one of the largest and one of the biggest challenges on a completion side is actually what's actually going no is actually knowing what's actually going on out there, right? So what's going on at the well site? Why are we down on MPT? You know, in the in the past, everything's aggregated in a data van, right? In the data van streaming data. But what, what we've been able to do is is do a lot more than that, logistics, equipment health, and and, and engineering. So by switching and, and looking at capabilities of Corva, visualization and apps, we believe that Corva could be the conduit for us on the completion side of the business to be able to relate and talk to and communicate digitally with our customers. And we believe that we can enhance the production and efficiency of the entire well site. So look, we're really excited to be working with Corva. We know that you know, the drilling space has been opened up. I, I actually used to be part of that drilling space and we know that there's a lot of data and good visibility in what's going on. And we're excited to be partnering with Corva on the completion side so that we can open that up, we can relate and, and, and deal with our customers better, and they can also see our capabilities as a completions company as it relates to digital. So with that, Ryan, I appreciate the, the opportunity to come and, and speak. Thank you. Thanks, Kenny. Very exciting stuff. Our next presenter is Mark Bishop, the CEO and founder of MGB Oilfield Solutions. As Corva got more involved on the completion side of the business last year, we forged a relationship with M MGB who provides fuel efficiency equipment to our clients using their frack spreads. Okay, Mark, it's all yours. Thank you, Ryan, good morning. So as Ryan mentioned, you know, MGB is really targeting operational efficiency at the well site. And we're always looking for ways to pass on these efficiencies and savings to both the EMP companies as well as the service providers. And when you look at a typical frack operation where you've got dozens of uh, frack pumps and tractors out there idling and pumping at the same time, it's a huge amount of fuel that is being used. And the problem is truly that it's the idling in between the frack stages that is consuming up all of that fuel as well as the maintenance costs of that equipment, which typically can run north of $65 per hour. And as you can imagine, over the course of a well, that can add up into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So the unnecessary idling of the equipment requires significantly more fueling attempts. It places a huge amount of wear and tear on the equipment, but it also puts the environment at risk due to all the emissions and puts people in the red zone by having to go into that high pressure area to refuel this equipment. So a couple of years ago, MGB launched a, the hardware side of things, which allows us to have an innovative standalone product that allows you to essentially eliminate your frack pump idling. The reduction in the idle has an immediate impact to your P&L and reduces your fuel consumption and maintenance costs from day one. 
So we've been actively engaged with Corva and the Dev Center team to produce this transformational app and visualize these savings. We wanted to expand this business model to allow the app to be sold on the Corva store, and it's a three-way win for us and the clients. So Corva takes all of this data and transforms it and puts the information in the palm of your hands, whether it be your iPhones, your computers, et cetera. And we can instantly show your current and trending fuel usage, as well as your operating hours, your idle times, and it gives you true insight into your operational efficiency and the costs associated with that. Ryan, thank you very much. Thanks, Mark. I know many frack spreads that could benefit from the power cell right now. Great to be working with you on this huge boost in efficiency. I want to transition now to a company that's probably tried every technology out there and they're no stranger to innovation. I'd like to introduce Brad Barton, Innovation and Automation Manager at ExxonMobil. Good morning. Thank you for the introduction, Ryan. Uh, like Ryan said, I'm the Wells Digital Innovation and Automation Manager at ExxonMobil. Um, I wanted to come today and just, just speak about our experience with Corvette and, uh, and uh, the excitement that we have on DevCenter. Um, so I'm going to talk about three things. So one is our experience with Corva to date, kind of history of what we've done, uh, the vision that we have, and then how Corva fits into that vision. Uh, so a little bit of background. Uh, my team's focus is around applying and utilizing digital technology, um, starting at the well planning process, going all the way through the uh, well construction process and rig operations. Uh, we develop and deploy leading edge solutions to optimize performance, make us as safe as possible with a focus on automation and analytics. We have a great team of uh, folks working on that for us. As part of our digital journey in unconventionals back in 2019, we identified a need for increased analytics and insights uh, at the rig site, which uh, eventually led us to Corva, like Ryan mentioned. Uh, as far as our history, we, uh, we deployed Corva to a few rigs in early 2019 as a pilot. Um, after a successful pilot, it led to a full US unconventionals rollout by the third quarter of 19. Uh, which was very impressive. At that time, we had a large number of rigs, and uh, it was we quickly rolled out to uh, to the rigs, which is great to see, and uh, also just just uh, exemplified the agility of Corva and ExxonMobil to get this to the rigs. After the U.S. unconventional rollout, we moved on to international unconventionals, and then our international conventional operations. Um, and then after that, earlier this year, we completed the rollout to the entire ExxonMobil rig fleet. So. And happy to say that at this point, we're on every, uh, every rig in our fleet. So part of our vision is to make deployment of analytics and intelligence globally scalable with ease. An important aspect of that vision is uh, the ability to utilize our own proprietary code. So Ryan talked about the IP. Um, we're big believers in that. So we're always looking for the next opportunity to improve our performance as part of this effort. And uh, in 2019, around the same time we were deploying Corva, our research team developed a proprietary solution to optimize drilling performance and reduce NPT, primarily focused on reducing NPT. So we took this solution, it was tested uh, with one of our international uh, rig teams and as a, as a proof of concept. But at the time, we didn't have the ability to deploy this across multiple rigs and to scale it, as you can imagine. So we got it on one rig on a laptop, but no way to easily update the code, no way to easily push it out, push it out to the rest of the fleet. So this is where Corva comes in. So we've been working closely with Corva for the last couple of years now, and I uh, knew that Dev Center was part of their, their digital roadmap, uh, which also supported our vision of being able to deploy intelligence at scale across our fleet. So we worked closely with Corva the last couple of uh, months to test, beta test Dev Center. Uh, so we've gotten you know, up, up close uh, look at it using uh, our proprietary code that I mentioned earlier. Um, the Corva team deployed our IP in their Dev Center and in a matter of weeks, we went from what was really just an idea to uh, actually having a working prototype within the Corva app, which was amazing to see. Uh, awesome to see how quickly it came together, how the teams worked together. So we're continuing to fine tune that. We're doing a lot of testing right now on uh, data from our rigs and I uh, can't wait to get it deployed to, to some of our other rigs. You know, this is just a great example of what uh, teams can accomplish with Corva's new dev center. Uh, a way of enabling teams like ours to uh, imagine, like Ryan said earlier, develop and deploy um, globally, scalable, with ease, um, just like we want. 
So we're excited about the potential value of Dev Center um, and what will enable in our continued effort to improve uh, performance and minimize MPT. So in closing, there's just a couple of things I want to mention uh, as far as Dev Center. Um, a couple of things that are important to us. So one is that we own what we build and deploy uh, our own IP, um, which is important to us, ownership of the IP, and we believe it's a differentiator. And then the second thing is it allows our team to focus on solving complex business problems and not worrying about how we're gonna deploy it to the field, but really focus on the problems. Uh, so it's great to have an innovative partner in Corva. Uh, really appreciative of the work that you've done. Uh, thank you to the Corva team for your continued technology development uh, as we continue on our digital journey. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. We're really looking forward to seeing all of the Exxon, what they're gonna do on the Dev Center and all the apps they're gonna build. There's a ton of focus on the five product lines we've launched, but I also wanna give an honorable mention to the 145 new features that are also being rolled out. Corva never stands still and neither do our apps. We continuously refine and enhance our extensive suite of over 100 plus drilling and completion apps. We've got about 60 drilling apps and 40 completion apps. We strive to make them better every day based on client feedback. In total, we have 100, about 145 new features. And to give you perspective, that's a ton of work. We have leaderboards for drilling, tortuosity comparison for offset wells, new features for completions milling operations, and a big one, offset well pressure monitoring for frack hits. So we've been quite busy. Since day one, Corva has always been asked for better ways to evaluate geology and formations. We've also been asked for better ways to manage safety concerns on the rig. Let's take a look at some of the work we've been doing there. Over the past few years, we've been providing our customer access to industry leading real time tools. Since Corva's inception, we've been laser focused on unconventional drilling in North America and will continue to build innovative products for those basins. Now, over the last few months, we've been expanding to various conventional fields across the world. We recently started deploying Corva to drilling rigs in offshore oil and gas fields across the world. This means bigger rigs, bigger data sets, drilling deeper and more complex wells where every data point could lose or save the operation millions of dollars. There's a huge difference between offshore and unconventional wells. Advanced formation evaluation dowel tools for formation characterization, geosteering, and well control are at the forefront of offshore operations. Unconventional wells usually use a basic MWD suite of gamma ray and directional tools, whereas uh, deep water and offshore operations are usually using advanced tools such as resistivity, uh, density, porosity, and these now that we have this depth-based data, um, we can utilize our alerts engine um, in ways that we haven't been able to in the past. So for formation markers, formation tops, the things that have characteristic signatures, uh, this now opens up the capability to set different alerts. So that way you can receive a notification on your phone, uh, in your browser, via text message even, uh, whenever certain criteria is met. And that's something we didn't have before formation evaluation, before we had the ability to ingest this depth-based data. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what we can do uh, now that we have this. Trip sheets and fingerprinting have been around for a long time. They've been done manually and even automated in some uh, parts of it. The key for what Corbett provides is full automation where the users don't have to do anything other than use the data, sit on top of it, and make decisions. I worked on developing the chip sheet app, which is a very powerful tool for monitoring well, uh, well control events and basically automating the whole process. So on this app, uh, you can select the VHA that you want. It could be the current VHA or any historical VHA and look at all the tripping data. Basically, that helps you do trend analysis and um, it can be used for alerting the rig for any unexplained game in the event. So we can see that this is automating the previously manual process that the driller has to do on pen and paper and um, they have to be alert all the time. Running these apps is like having an extra set of digital eyes on your pits, which gives Corva the ability to deploy an alert for abnormal conditions at a moment's notice. The fingerprinting and trip sheet apps keep your most valuable people and assets safe 24 seven, even when you can't watch.
I want to call up Greg McDonald. He's a Corvus DNC product manager, and I want him to dive into this a bit more. Thanks, Ryan. Drillers have a tough job. That space between formation and fracture pressure is a moving target. It requires a lot of attention to maintain optimal pressure in order to prevent kicks and lost circulation. These well control events are especially likely to occur while tripping in or out of the hole or making a connection. Crews must be diligent in monitoring all the channels, gauges, and data points that show a gradual trend in fluid pressure or a spike. Blink and you'll miss it. The fact is, monitoring of the MUD system and keeping tabs on connection flows and trip sheets is still largely a manual process. Relying on handwritten notes, manual calculations, and uh, a driller on the rig floor. To automate this process, Corvo is unleashing two new real-time kick, kick detection tools to supercharge your well control workflows, the fingerprinting app and the trip sheet app. Let's talk about the fingerprinting app first. There's a unique flowback signature when the pumps are turned off for a connection. Like a fingerprint, every drilling connection, every drilling connection's distinctive flowback signature should be similar to the last. A slight deviation from the pattern can indicate a potential ballooning or lost circulation event. Corvus fingerprinting app tracks flowback events between connections and can pairs each against the previous to automatically identify gain or loss trends. You can see here in the app, the highlighted gain on this flowback uh, was much higher than the previous connections. This alerts the entire drilling team to possibly emerging well bore problems, enabling well, well control remediation to be rapidly implemented to prevent a kick. Now let's take a look at Corva's new trip sheet app. Many of the largest blowouts in history have occurred while tripping in or out of the hole. The trip sheet is an essential tool that drillers rely on to identify well control problems while tripping under normal operations. However, trip sheet calculations are often performed by hand from the rig floor using a pen, pencil, paper, and a calculator. By automating these calculations, Corva's trip sheet app enables the process to be more transparent and less prone to error. This helps on-site teams and remote teams ensure safer tripping operations, prevent catastrophic well events, and avoid loss of expensive drilling fluids. With the introduction of our well control product suite, Corva continues to push the envelope for safer operations, consistency, and automation on the rig. Fingerprinting and trip sheets are just a start. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to the next big release for today, which is the formation evaluation app. Well logs are one of the most valuable data sets in the oil and gas industry. Millions of dollars worth of logs can be found scattered around offices in multiple formats. We've, talked, we've all walked into a drilling engineer's office and seen old logs tacked to the wall, searched through multiple databases for logs, or even emailed an LWD provider trying to find a log. You need to leverage your well logs to ensure economic return on the wells you're drilling, complete your wells with competence, and avoid hazards. But scattered historical logs, access to real-time logging data, and fragmented workflows limit collaboration, create redundancies, and delay decisions. Corva's formation evaluation app equips your entire team with real-time and historical well, log, well logs and an easy-to-use platform. View all of your logs in one place. To improve collaboration between geology and drilling groups, streamline well log analysis across the life cycle, and identify potential subsurface hazards. Here's what you can work with inside the app. The usual subsect, suspects, gamma ray, resistivity, your density neutron, um, and, and your sonic data. You know, any, any logging tool, you name it, it'll work. Um, as well as data from mud logger sensors, such as surface gas detection, um, and then as well, MWD measurements like downhole vibration, RPM, weight on bit. Using the built-in template function, you can also create, save, and share log templates across your team. You can customize your tracks and traces based on today's logging suite downhole and then save them for use on the next, log, on the next well. This provides standard log visualization across the organization, driving collaboration between drilling and geology groups. 
Building, an app, building the app, we knew that not all logs were available in real time. For this purpose, we built a simple tool to quickly upload the, and view data from the LAS file, which can be found right here. Corvo's formation evaluation app replaces legacy viewers with next generation log visualization that enables collaboration around the same data on any device, including Apple and Android phones. That's all of my updates for today. Now back to Ryan. Thanks, Greg, for that great update. We've been listening to what clients really need out of the digital oil field. We hear a few things over and over. They need better ways to automate decisions and match best in class outcomes. There is less time than ever before, and yet managers expect higher performance. That's why I'm really excited to announce these two product lines. Let's take a look. Our goal for well design is to create a drilling program for a pad of wells in five minutes. One of the big advantages we have at Corva is the vast amount of QC well data on our platform. So the well design product is going to take advantage of this data to the heavy lifting of the well design process automatically. Prior to my time at Corva, I was actually a drilling engineer for about five years for an operator here in Houston. Um, the work that I was doing was mostly development. Everything from doing the offset uh, research, gathering all of the data, doing the benchmarking to be able to then come up with uh, targets and goals for your KPI and then share them with the team. There were so many opportunities for my time to be better utilized or more focused on improvements, whether that's with the current operations going on out in the field or if it's spending more time um, in additional planning for the wells that I'm working on. So instead of the drilling engineer having to use several disconnected well design softwares and then combining all the results in the spreadsheet, Corva's well design applications will automatically utilize the best offset wells to pre-populate all the data needed to complete the entire well design process. The algorithm that we developed automatically tracks phases from real time with some data. Uh, this approach also removes the bias from different people and the data. It also lets the company man focus on his other higher priority tasks. And all this while the phases are automatically being calculated on the back end. We want our customers to be able to start utilizing the applications as they're developed to get value out of them while we work towards the end goal of the five minute well design. Once we have all the applications in place, we'll be able to combine all of this data in an automated fashion to achieve that five minute goal. Being the digital platform that Corva is, we're able to have all of your relevant information in one place. Because your drilling data is stored in Corva, we're able to do automatic analysis and give you the right information about your well design right there and then. Our users are going to be able to automatically interact in real time and be able to exchange information on the fly using it as a one source of information. For the directional product, our goal is to create the Waze or Google Maps of directional drilling. When you think about Waze, it's so simple to use that you really don't think about it but most people will use these applications every single day. So simplicity is, is key to creating an industry leading directional guidance software. With Corva's directional guidance, we've made the user experience and design our number one priority. Uh, we want the directional guidance application to be so easy to use that directional drillers and drillers can look at the app for the first time and immediately understand what steps they need to take to get back to plan. I want to invite Brian Harklerod, our directional and well designed product manager, up to the stage to tell us a little bit more. Thanks, Ryan, for that introduction. I'm extremely excited about what's on my list to talk about today. I'm going to be giving you a brief overview and demo of each of the new directional and well designed apps. First off, let's talk about how your team can paint the line with directional guidance and bit projections. For our directional product, our journey started with bit projection. Having a way to estimate the bit position in real time is crucial for the driller to be able to make the right decision on how to get back to plan or land the curve. The bit projection app uses real time rotary and slide trims 
as well as tool faces to calculate the bit position every 30 seconds. Bit projection is also a crucial step on our journey to directional guidance. So within the app itself, you can see that the bit, uh, bit projection and last survey are here in the top of the table. And below that, you have the TVD versus vertical section and the northern easting charts, which show the um, bit projection in relation to the drilling window, formation tops, and the plan line. In this example, you can see they are just leaning the curve, which is a critical to have the bit position to be able to calculate the dog leg needed to land the curve. So these views are extremely useful to help the DD take corrective action to help prevent exiting the drilling window as well. So just below the plots, you have the slide and rotate ahead footage, which are also inputs into that dog, lead in, dog leg needed to land calculation. And then below that, you have the slide trend and the rotary trend, which are being utilized within the bit projection to make that bit projection real time. So, for the directional guidance app, our goal is to deliver a tool that automatically provides term by term navigation to get back to plan. You can think of directional guidance as the Google Maps or ways of directional drilling. Data delays and fragmented workflows make directional drilling reactive. The DD often relies on his experience and intuition to determine the best path back to plan. It's a continuous cost benefit analysis. Every time the bit diverges from plan, the DD must decide to trade ROP for path divergence, which can result in lost production potential. Corva's directional guidance app analyzes hundreds of various paths and selects the ideal path based on what the drilling objective is. Users have the ability to choose what's most important to them, whether that's ROP, reducing tortuosity, or maximizing the footage and zone. This takes the human bias out of the equation and provides an objective way to get back to plan. So looking at the app, you can immediately see in this particular example that they have just exited the drilling window as denoted by the drilling window exit icon shown here in yellow. Ahead of the bit, you can see the current recommendation path that was automatically generated when they exited that drilling window. But as you can see, the current recommendation doesn't get them back into the drilling window very fast. So this may be something that the directional driller would want to change, which he could easily do by clicking the regenerate plan button up here in the top right. In this window, the DD has the ability to alter the inputs of the recommendation path. In this particular example, the DD may want to open up the max survey dogleg severity to five degrees. and change his motor yield to 15 degrees because he knows that's what the motor is yielding. Over on the right, you have your weights. So we can change the ROP weight to 10%, the footage in zone to 80% because that's what his objective is, is to maximize that footage in zone. And then he can change the tortuosity weight to 10% as well. Then all he has to do is click confirm. So this triggers the directional guidance algorithm to run. So right now the algorithm is analyzing hundreds of various paths to get back into the drilling window. If you think about a DD in this scenario, he only has the capacity to analyze maybe a few different paths in five to 10 minutes. It's physically impossible for them to analyze hundreds of different paths and then calculate the footage in zone, ROP, and tortuosity of each one of the, them to select the best path. With Corva, all this is done automatically. So now that we can see that this is done running, we can see a side-by-side -side view of the previous recommendation, which had a footage in window of 520 feet, and then the new recommendation, which has a footage in zone of 707 feet. So now the DD can click confirm and accept, and then this new recommendation path will be used going forward within the application. As you can see in the plots, our new, uh, new path is being utilized for the recommendation. So from here, the DD has the ability to click on the table view 
to see a tabular breakdown of each of the drilling steps that they need to take in order to follow the recommendation path. If we go back to the plots, the DD also has the ability to zoom, on, zoom in on the current recommendation step by clicking this active step toggle here. They can also see the active step information over here in the left panel, such as the target tool face, the drilling parameters, and compliance metrics for how well they actually follow that particular step. At the bottom, they can click between drilling steps as well as future drilling steps and the plots will automatically update to show that particular step. So that's a brief overview of the directional guidance app that we are very excited to share with you today. Um, so now let's talk about well design. The starting point for well design is Corvus composite design application that, uh, that instantly generates the composite or technical limit an average well based on your selected offset wells. The composite well is imperative to generating the AFE and then is used in a days versus depth to compare the well performance in real time. The composite will also be used to populate all the well information for the well that's being designed so you don't have to manually enter all the BHAs, casing, hole sections, mud info, and all the other information that's required to do the actual well design. Composite design has also revolutionized how the drilling phases are captured with our real-time phase detection algorithm. Just like rig state detection, Corva is now able to automatically tag the phases of the well. Instead of the company man having to spend three hours per day manually entering these phases, the phase detection algorithm automatically detects them using WITSML data. So all the company man has to do is fill, the, fill in the flat time and surface activities. So in the app itself, you can see in this particular case, we are using five offset wells that we selected to generate the composite and average well, which can be seen here in the days versus depth plot. The green line is the composite, and then the purple line is the average well. So it's great to automatically generate the composite, but the drilling engineer's next question is, how do I achieve the composite time? what well sections, phases, and activities need to be improved the most. The composite design addresses all of these questions through the use of the waterfall chart below the days versus depth. The waterfall calculates and displays the difference between the composite well and the average well for each whole section so you can easily identify which whole section has the largest opportunity for improvement. In this example, we can see that our intermediate two section has the largest opportunity of improvement of 2.42 days. From here, the next question is, okay, now that I know the intermediate two needs improvement, what exactly do I need to improve within that section? So we can, eat, we can actually drill into the intermediate two section and see the breakdown of operating versus non-operating time for that section. Um, so now it's very clear that my casing in the intermediate two has a lot of opportunity for improvement. I can also switch the units of the waterfall from days to dollars by clicking the toggle here. So it just uses a standard spread rate that can be customized. I can also compare a specific well to the composite by clicking the compare dropdown right here. As for well schematic, the days of manually generating static wellboard diagrams in Excel are over. Corva's well schematic is a powerful data-driven uh, data digital visualization of the drilling plan that enables your entire team to monitor progress with real-time updates to the design. At a glance, the schematic clearly communicates the design and key objectives for the wellbore. The schematic also follows the life of a well in Corva, starting in design and tracking actual results through drilling and encapsulating vital knowledge 
that can be leveraged in completion operations. Within the app itself, you can immediately see all the pertinent information, such as your whole section, your casing, your BHAs, your mud info, formation tops, and also hazards for that particular subject well and offset well hazards. So instead of the schematic PDF, well schematics, Corvus uh, schematic is, is interactive, right? So users have the ability to go and hover over the information of interest on the actual schematic. For example, if they wanted to see the production lateral BHA number nine, they could easily hover over it in the schematic to see where the BHA tripped out or tripped in and then click on it to see the actual BHA information. They could also click on the production casing to see the production casing information. And then you have all the formation tops on the right, which you can hover over and see the top depths as well as the lithology. The schematic is also real time meaning that as they drill, the whole depth and bit depth indicators will show the corresponding depths, right? So they can simply just hover over those to see the corresponding depths. Users can also see all the automatically ta uh, tagged well phases up here at the top of the schematic to quickly understand exactly which phase of the well they're in. This is a great feature for real-time operations teams. If users wanted to zoom in to a particular depth of interest, they could easily use the sidebar or the zoom bar over here on the right and do so. You can also add offset wells to the schematic to do a side-by-side -side offset well analysis by clicking the offset well selection tool. Within the offset well selection tool, the wells within 15 miles of the subject well with the same target formation are automatically highlighted as offset wells. If I wanna add these offset wells to the schematic, all I have to do is click save. And now we have all the offset wells added to the schematic, right? And users can easily scroll between those offset wells if they wanted to. So, Adding offset wells um, automatically brings in all the offset well hazards and also places them on the schematic as well. So you can see here that we have a couple of H2S um, instances on some of our offset wells, but it automatically brings those hazards and places them on the subject wells schematic so you can easily see those coming up. So that's all for our directional well design products. Um, so be sure to join us during the breakout session this afternoon. Let's get a little bit more details on those. Um, with that, I'm gonna hand it back off to Ryan. Thanks, Brian. Those products are nothing short of amazing. I want to thank the great team at Corva for their unwavering dedication. This stuff is not easy. I hope everyone participating today found the new lineup of products exciting as I have. That's a wrap. Please reach out with any questions and be sure to tune into the breakout sessions after lunch as we do a deep dive into the core of our products that we've announced today.
Thank you.